So since then though, especially when I went in my deep dive after a couple years of having patients that responded well to testosterone with prostate cancer and their PSA levels normalized and so did their other things like biopsies, imaging, and then I started to ask, well, what do I know about the PSA test? The PSA test was based on the prostate specific antigen, which was discovered by Dr. Richard Adlin. And the antigen was never meant, he says, to be a cancer screening test. His own father died of prostate cancer and he got into prostate cancer research, I understand, based on his father's condition. And even then, he says he was never able to find a good cancer screening test like that. So they turned it into a cancer screening test, even though it didn't really support that. And he wrote a book in 2014 called The Great Prostate Hoax, which he says basically that the government stole his prostate specific antigen and made it into a test and marketed it inappropriately as a cancer screening test. I mean, this is the doctor who basically founded the test that he developed the main thing the test is based on. And he says, it's not an effective screen. And in an interview I saw, he was asked, have you ever had a PSA test on yourself? And he said, absolutely not. And he said, but your dad had prostate cancer. And he said, yeah, but that's not what the test does. So even the guy who was basically the founder of the test has never had the test. His dad had prostate cancer and he has no intention on having it. So what's the purpose of the test? Well, unfortunately, it causes more harm than good. And that's where he says too, 